All right, welcome back. So for the last step, right before we create our first machining operation for this exercise, is we need to create the last thing that is in our drawing over here, is that radius cut that we have six times around my part. Now there's one thing that I've changed uh, from my previous drawings that I've shown you, is that I've actually taken out a uh, fillet that I had over here. There's a radius that I had all around my part right here, and I've taken that out. And that's because when I start practicing my uh, the way that I'm gonna be teaching, uh, cutting this part it actually was a few more operations that i needed to, needed to add for this lesson that were not necessary uh, it would have taken me a long time to finish showing you how to machine the part and i would rather show you just how to machine it uh, with the new features rather than add a lot of unnecessary features uh, to finish machining my part so i went ahead and removed the fillet over here but everything else is the same so the first thing you want to see, you'll see over here, is that the center point of the radius is 4 inches from the center of the part, and it's a 2 inch radius. So what I'm going to be doing is basically drawing a circle right here, which I'll be copying 6 times all around my part, okay? And then I will be basically cutting that circle and using it uh, basically to create a surface. Then I'll be using that surface uh, bit, you know, to cut from the rest of my part, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, before you get too confused. So let me go ahead and get started. So I'm going to place this into the top view. Go ahead and select circle over here. And go ahead for the Z, type in 1.5. Make it a little bit higher than normal. This is 1.5, not 15. So make it a little bit higher than your part. And we'll basically draft that all the way down to the cent bottom center of the part. So let's go ahead and do that. So first we need to uh, state the center of the circle, which is going to be 4 inches to the right. Go ahead and snap it anywhere and type in 2.0 hit enter okay hit apply and okay now go ahead and copy this circle six times around your part x form rotate something you should be familiar with select your geometry and hit enter six uh, six circles times 60 degrees will be 360 degrees so for degrees type in 60 and then for number go ahead and change that to five all right so you're copying this five more times around your part Go ahead and select apply and clear color. So the next thing I want to do is actually if you create drafts or surfaces from these circles, there's going to be a lot of circles all around your part that you're going to be, be trimming later on. So instead of doing that, uh, let's go ahead and cut those circles, make them a little bit smaller than they are right now. So go ahead and draw one more circle from the center over here, okay? And go ahead and make that circle about 3 inches, maybe 2.75 and hit enter and okay. So we're going to use this circle to trim all the rest of the circles from that. Go ahead and come over here to trim. Make sure that you have divide, delete, and go ahead and just start by selecting all your circles. Delete as much as you can from the outer edge. Now zoom in and you still need to delete the two cones and the center uh, point of the right between each two circles. So go ahead and do that. All right, I'm going to zoom out real quick to do this one. And last but not least, go ahead and delete all the outer one because that we, we just use this one to basically cut the parts. So I hope uh, you're understanding what I mean by that. All I wanted to do is trim these circles because I'm going to use these geometries to create a surface all the way down. And I don't want to create a big circle surface all the way down. Uh, I just want to create a little geometry so I can cut it from the rest of my part. And I'll show you what I mean. So next up, we want to do is we want to create a surface and select draft. Now draft is really used uh, to create an angular draft, okay? So something that is more angular, but it can be used to create surfaces. So go ahead and select all of them like I just did and hit enter and you'll see the surface is created. Now again, like I said, draft allows you to actually create an angular draft like you see over here as I'm uh, moving it up and down, you'll see that it changes. Now these two uh, they work together with a, uh, as a ratio so when you change one it changes the other or when you change one angle it changes this one as well so this you want to do 1.5 remember I've created this geometry one and a half inches from the top of my part let's go ahead and use it to go all the way down to my part itself okay go ahead and select okay so there you go you've selected now your five your six basically uh, surfaces and basically what we're going to be doing is taking this geometry and cutting this area out of this part, okay? So it, it creates only that surface in the background. And then go ahead and trim 
the area on the outside of my part from whatever is left on the inside to end up with a part that looks just like that. Okay, so we're creating this as a surface in our video. So what I'll do right now is I'm actually going to go down to the bottom. Go ahead and select that bottom and go ahead and hit delete. Now, you don't have to delete it. You can actually trim just that bottom edge, but it's easier for me to just delete that so I don't have to create another uh, little video just so I can delete this for you. So uh, now that you have this deleted, the only thing you want to get rid of from now on is the inside of each of those pockets. But as you can see, when you select one, it actually selects this all the way around. So we're going to learn in our next video. I don't want to make this video too long. In the next video, I will show you how to create, uh, how to trim this all the way around and basically separate the inside from the outside so you can get rid of the inside part and then clean up the outside as well. So we'll continue this in the next video.